Oh, I've, I've given you so many headlines here. We're going to ask Jack to tie them all together. And Jack, our prayers are with you. God bless you as you do this. Next week, we're going to explain these seven organizations that are very secretive, the Illuminati, the Bilderbergers, the Council of Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, the Club of Rome, the United Nations, and the New Age Movement, all propagating and pushing for a new world order. And you're going to hear names next week that will literally shock you. And by the way, there are five men I'm going to portray next week who want this position. But Kissinger says they are preparing Obama to create this new world order. Now, I have a lot of stock in what Kissinger says because he's a member of this secret society, the Bilderbergs, which just met in Virginia and laid out plans to microchip all humans by 2017. That's how near we are to the coming of the Lord. That's Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 to 18, and chapters 14, uh, verses 9 and 11, 15 to 16 to 19, verse 20 and 20, verse 4. But let's go on. Secondly, he brings in a peace program, and here is Blair and Brown, the Prime Minister of England, saying we want Obama to go and have a part in the peace process. And you see, he comes in peaceably, Daniel 11, 21, enters in peaceably, Daniel 11, 24, and lo and behold, he makes a contract for seven years, but it only lasts for 42 months, and then Russia, as I said earlier, breaks it, Ezekiel 38, verse 11. But he's more than that. He's going to rule during the tribulation hour. 21 judgments in Revelation chapter 6 to 18. And that includes Armageddon of Revelation 16, 16, the greatest battle in the history of the world. I wouldn't want to be president or I wouldn't want to have a part as a leader of the New World Order under the circumstances, believe me. Fourthly, the Bible says in Daniel 7, verse 20, that he is going to be a stout person. Look it up in Webster's Dictionary. Obstinate. My way is the only way. And even Senator Byrd, a Democrat, said there's a power play going on right now, and he wrote a two-page letter about the subject to the other congressmen and senators. We have nothing to say. And then Newt Gingrich said on the Greta Van Susseren show, as I quoted a few weeks ago, we are headed for a dictatorship in our own country. A stout voice. Daniel 7.20, I repeat. And then in Daniel 7.25, he is a minister of change. He came to power with that slogan. You don't believe it? Daniel 7.25, he shall change laws and times. In 100 days, he's changed the law about stem cell usage change the law about Guantanamo, and these prisoners, a bunch of cutthroat murderers, are now being accepted in Germany. We find that he's changing what Bush did concerning Iran, said we won't talk to you until you do away with your uranium enrichment to be used for atomic weaponry. And he says, now, that doesn't matter. And he's written conciliatory letters, almost apologizing in some cases, to Iran, to the Taliban, to bin Laden, to Hamas, to Hezbollah, are enemies. Can two walk together except to be agreed, Amos 3.3? 3. It isn't going to work. We're going to pay for it. Now, watch. This is the last sign before Jesus returns, because when he returns, he puts down and stops this government called the New World Order. Psalm 2, verses 1 to 5, 2 Thessalonians 2, 8, and Revelation 19, 19. Oh, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Yeah.